Denmark has this thing about acoustic engineering, but also they have this craftsmanship, working with materials and how to really create a product that you are proud of when you have it at home. Steinway and Sons selected us, a small company in Denmark, and thought of us as equal partners. Uh, makes me very proud. We built some prototype speakers that uh, frankly looked quite awful. And we did the demo to reproduce a Steinway grand piano in a hotel room in New York. So that a piano tuner or some of their best pianists could not really determine whether they listened to a piano or a speaker system. And after the president of Steinway and Sons said, Peter, uh, we had talked about making a Steinway system, but I really want this to be called Steinway and Sons. We protect that name with our life. A great speaker needs to be versatile, robust, and be able to play loud. The speaker is kind of the instrument in your room, and therefore it should not introduce any coloration. When we make speakers, when we make amplifiers, we try to reproduce what's on the recording in your living room and nothing else. In a normal, complex, multi-channel system, if you turn up the volume, there's going to be hum and buzz and noise. In a Steinway Lindorf system, there's going to be nothing. To me, there's Hi-Fi and there's Steinway Lindorf. It is really something I can connect to where I feel something. If you reproduce music more realistically, it becomes more emotional. You need to expose people to quality sound. It's not possible to convince people just by talking about it. And as soon as you have heard it, there's no going back. You have to surrender. You will always want to hear that. We thought from the beginning we will make no compromise to the sound because of the design we want. Just like a Steinway is a timeless product because it's designed for the sound. If you look how Steinway builds a piano in Hamburg or in New York, you will see a lot of similarities. The lacquering of our Steinway & Sons audio products is done in the same factories that Steinway & Sons in Germany uses for their grand pianos. We have to adhere to the same standards as Steinway & Sons. In Steinway Lingdorf in the electronic design, there are some parts and components you don't even know what it's doing. But one engineer spends a long time to make that one component better. It's really this dedication to small details that make a big difference. It's important to have a production in Denmark because we can always monitor the quality of what we're doing, always fine-tuning the way that a product should be made. Room correction started already many years ago because no one has a perfect listening room. All of our clients have different kinds of homes, environment, furniture, size of the room. But room correction doesn't really make you enjoy the music more because it's just flat. So what Room Perfect does is that really understands the sound of the speaker and the sound in the room. And it tries to separate that. The Room Perfect addresses all the room difficulties, maybe too much bass or reflection in the higher frequencies. But it doesn't change the tonality and the sound character of your loudspeaker. Reproduction of sound in an acoustical space is infinitely complex, so there's always something you can improve. And that I find totally fascinating. Quality will never go out of fashion. Everybody wants to have good quality and everybody wants to have good experiences. And that's what we bring to people. We bring good experiences.